Stuart again from Berkshire Guitar Amplifier Repairs here in Reading, England. I want to talk to you today about measuring the resistance values on older valve guitar amplifiers. Often they drift out of tolerance, these old carbon resistors, and they usually end up going high, so I, I always check them. But I also wanted to show you a neat piece of equipment that I bought recently. In order to measure resistance, I used to use, well, I still do use my old trusty, cheap, £25 white gold um, multimeter, uh, which I've never been able to find another one of, actually. I wanted to replace this one, but they seem to have gone out of business. But um, Terry over at D-Labs on YouTube mentioned that he had purchased a fancy new meter and this is the Hioki, H-I-O-K-I, -I, uh, DT4256, Delta Tango 4256. And uh, I got quite excited watching Terry use this. And it's, the good thing about it is it's an auto-ranging meter. If, like me, you do a lot of testing of resistors, you'll constantly have to change from 1 meg range, 100k range, 10k range, 100, 100 ohm range. But this neat meter measures any resistance from I think it's something like 60 meg ohms down to 1 ohms automatically you just dab the probes on and it tells you the uh, the, the resistance value um, it's a it's a gold mine for uh, working on amps where you have to test a lot of resistors to see if they're in tolerance so what I thought I would do would be to show you how to measure the resistance values on um, on this old Fender amplifier I have up on the bench and show you what short work this particular meter makes of it. Then I'll talk to you a little bit about uh, changing values and what's in tolerance and what is out of tolerance. So let's have a look at the, the amp now and see how this uh, performs. Let me now just show you how I would normally measure the resistance using a fairly standard multimeter. Um, let's take these 100k resistors here. So first of all of course I have to select the range, in this case 200k, and now I go across these resistors 112k, um, 118k, they're all high, 120k. Um, now there's a, uh, I think it's a 1k5 here, so to measure this I'm going to have to change this down to here, which is a you know, a bit of a nuisance really. And now 1k8 looks so that one's high. Now I want to, want to do some more 100k so I've got to turn the meter back to 100k, 117k, 116k, 119k. It's a 1 meg here so now again I have to select the right range for 1 meg. And uh, there we go, one point. 06 meg. So it's not a major pain, but look what short work the Hioki makes of this. I'm just going to prop it up on this piece of wood so that um, it reflects quite badly. I want you to be able to see. There we go. I think you can see the, the meter readings there. Uh, 60 meg, it's flashing. Now I can just go along the, these resistors and uh, this 100k. 112k, it beeps every time it's got the range, 118k, 120k, just what we found before. Now I don't have to change anything, look, I'm going to go straight on to that 1k5, and it's 1k8. I'm going to go straight on to this 1 meg resistor, 1.06, uh, this is a, uh, I think that's a 1k there, let me just check. Yep, 1K is 0.94. So you can see it makes real light work of it. Let's just go along a bit more. There's a bit of glare on that now, so I'll just prop that up so that you can see. Um, a couple more 100Ks here. 
115k, 109k, uh, there's a 220k here, 191k, but you can see this makes really uh, light work of measuring the resistors. Um, I really like it. The, the probes are a bit cheap and nasty. I would have expected a bit more from the probes for £220. They look really cheap and horrible. But the meter's quite robust, feels nice. A solid meter. So there you go. Nice little meter. I quite like it. Now a quick word about um, the resistors on on this uh, on these these old amplifiers. They are carbon resistors and they do go out of tolerance particularly on an old amp like this which is over 50 years old and they almost always go high so you can take a view on this anything that's over I don't know 5% high maybe change out um, because it will affect the operation of the circuit eventually and as you saw some of these were 20% out, these were 120k instead of 100k so you could take a view on swapping those out um, that's it really I uh, hope you enjoyed the tour of the amp and the look at this meter which I'm quite impressed with and I shall be using it from now on to, uh, to do this sort of work when I want to measure a lot of resistors fairly quickly well there we go I hope you enjoyed that quick video on how to test old resistors in some of these vintage valve guitar amplifiers. I've done a similar video on capacitors so check that one out and thanks for watching I'll see you on the next video.